Hello guys, this is Engineer Bonjobe Arbello and you are watching CBAS. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. This is our problem number two for reinforced concrete design USD analysis of singly reinforced beam. Calculate the ultimate moment capacity of a rectangular beam with B is equivalent to 300 millimeters and D is equivalent to 500 millimeters. AS is equivalent to 928 millimeter diameter bars. Assume FMC as 34 megapascal and FY as 414 megapascal. Use NCP 2015. So, itong problem number 2 ay halos same na same lang talaga sa ating problem number 1. Pero, ang pinapahanap rito is ultimate moment capacity. So, that is MU. Hindi siya design moment, ha? hindi yung PMN. That is MU. Na kung saan, ang ating PMN should be greater than or equivalent sa ating MU. Kaya, yung ating MU is approximately equivalent to our PMN. So, ganun pa rin naman, di ba? Kailangan natin masolve yung MN. So, again, ano nga ulit ang equation ng MN natin? This is equivalent to C multiplied by D minus A over 2 under sa rectangular beam. Okay? So, since rectangular lang naman siya, pwede natin kunin yung row balance, then i-compare natin sa row actual. So, ano nga bang equation ng row balance? So, dapat sa problem number 2, memorize nyo na ang equation na to. Ang row balance natin ay equivalent sa 0.85 F'C over Fy multiplied by beta 1 multiplied by 600 over 600 plus Fy. Ah yes, kailangan rin pala natin makuha yung beta 1, no? So, ang beta 1 natin is equivalent to 0.85 minus um, 0.05 over 7 multiplied by F'C minus 28 megapascal. Tapos, isolve na rin natin yung AS. Pi over 4 multiplied by 28 squared multiplied by 9. 34 lang ba yung ano? The prime C natin. 34 minus 28. So, this is 0.807. Tapos, ang AS naman natin is 28 squared divided by 9 over 4. 1764. Pi, uh, millimeter, 1764. Pi, millimeter, squared. Then, ang ating raw balance is 0.85 F'C, 34 over FY, 414. Multiplied by beta 1. Beta 1 natin is 0 0.807. Multiplied by 600 over 600 plus FY. 0 0.0333. So, ano ngayon ang ating raw actual? This is equivalent to AS over PD. 1764 pi uh, divided by B multiplied by 500 0 0.036 or 37 so since ang ating raw actual is na greater than ang ating raw balance therefore still does not yield so kung hindi nag yield yung bakal Ibig sabihin, ang ating FS is equivalent sa 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. Kasi sobrang lakas nung ano eh, nung baka lo, 0 0.037. Sobrang lakas niya kaya um, yung steel ratio natin ay malaki kaya nag na sa ating pro balance. So, paano natin gagamitin to? As it is lang, di ba? Ilalagay lang din natin sa FS dun sa force T. 
So, ang ating C is 0.85 F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by P. Equivalent to AS multiplied by FS which is equivalent to 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. Eh, dalawa yung unknown dito, yung C saka A. Eh, di ba, ang A natin is equivalent to beta 1 multiplied by C. Kaya, sa substitute natin ngayon dito sa A. So, ang A natin is equivalent to beta 1 multiplied by C. So, mag-ship sod na lang tayo. 0.85 F prime C multiplied by beta 1 na 0.807 multiplied by C. Multiplied by B, 300. Is equivalent to AS, 1764 pi multiplied by 600 multiplied by D, which is 500 minus C over C. So, 304.67. Millimeters. So, isod na rin natin yung FS natin para sigurado tayo. Dapat, ang ating FS ay mag less than sa FY kasi nga still does not yield. So, 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. So, 384.67. Mega Pascal, na nag than sa ating FY na equivalent sa 414 mega Pascal. So, tama talaga, no? Talagang hindi nag-yield yung bakal natin. So, since meron na tayong C, makukuha na rin natin yung A, which is equivalent to beta 1 multiplied by C. 0.807 multiplied by 304.67. 245.87. Millimeters. Now, makukuha na natin yung force C. Ang ating force C is equivalent to 0.85 F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by B. A is 245.87 multiplied by base 300 over 1,000. So, 213, 1.69. Kilo. Ton. Okay? So, masasod na natin yung MN. Two one three one point sixty nine times D. Minus A, 245.87 over 2. Divided by 1,000, ang ating nominal moment is 803.79. Kilo, Newton, meter. Pero, ano pa lang to, di ba? Nominal moment. So, kailangan nating masolve yung uh, PMN para makuha yung ultimate moment capacity. Kailangan natin ng fee. Eh, di ba meron tayong FS? FS natin is 384.67 which is less than sa 400 megapascal. Di ba ito yung naging condition natin? So, check lang natin. Okay. Ito. Ayan. Yung 400 is the stress under sa strain na equivalent sa 0.002. Since ang ating FS is less than sa 400, therefore, under tayo ng compression controlled. Yan. So, kung compression controlled tayo, yung ating reduction factor, phi, is equivalent sa 0.65. Kaya makukuha na natin yung ating PMN na equivalent sa ating MU. 0.65 of 803.79 So, 522.46 Kilo Newton Meter Nakita nyo? Diba? 
yung reduction factor natin sa compression control ay napakababa compare sa tension control. Ito, diba? Dito, 0.90 ang kanyang uh, reduction factor. Pero sa compression control, since hindi safe ang brittle failure, ang ginawa natin is, imbis na kunin natin ang 100% na nominal strength, ang kinuha lang natin sa kanya ay 65%. So, once na nag-undergo tayo ng compression control sa isang structural member, eh talagang binababa natin yung reduction factor para talagang mas safe yung ating structure. So, this is our problem number 2 for reinforced concrete design, USD Analysis of Singly Reinforced Beam. So, that's it guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at marami kayo natutunan sa mga discussion ng mga concept and problem sets ng CEVAX video tutorials. But of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye!